2021 Masquerade. I hold out very, very little hope that this movie is going to be any good. Not just the fact that it was made in the past 20 years, or the fact that it's American, and all American movies and TV series and advertising has a very basic format. White men are evil. White girls, especially if they're underage, have to be sluts and junkies. Now, the first two names in the cast, Bella Thorne, I only know her from her soft porn, where she's done like nude stuff. Crack and body. But still, she's famous for being an underage, was it Disney or something she was in? I don't know. All I know is that she's a known name for getting her tits out, doing nude pictures, whatever, on the internet. Um, Olivia, Alan, Lind. There is this, like, I'm not saying they're Nazis, but they do kind of look pretty much Aryan fit. Blonde women, um, actresses. And this one, <coughs> excuse me. As an actress, I've only seen her, i seen her in one movie, didn't know it was her. She was only a babby. And she's only, today, she's only 17. No, 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 sorry, I'm wrong. It's 2023, so she's 15, I think. I think she's 15, year old, 15 years old now. And this movie came out two years ago. She would have been 12, 13 when it came out. So at the height of her massive tits. Now, my issue with her is she's a product of her country, which means that I've already seen her really in one thing, and that was Chucky. Now, when she started making Chucky, she was about 11 years old. It was delayed because of COVID, but she was about 11 years old. She started doing that, and she was portrayed as a drug addict slut. So, I don't know. The other people in this, Austin Nichols, um, Maisie Monroe, Scarlett Samuels, these sound like woke names of people of colour. That, that is just the impression I get from those names. Whether they are or not, I don't know. But um, I'll give it a go. I'm not holding out any real hope for it being a good movie, but I will try. And um, the American format also means they put all the effort, all the story, all the acting, all the good shit in the first five minutes, and then the rest is crap. So I'll give it a go and see what happens. The opening credits dragged on for four and a half minutes. Now, four and a half minutes is not very long if you have premature ejaculation. Four and a half minutes is not very long if you're watching a movie for an hour and a half. Four and a half minutes is an eternity if the movie hasn't even started. I don't care about who did what to whom or who did what to get the job. I don't care who stars it. I don't care who made or produced it. By listing all these things at the start of a movie, you are reinforcing to people it is a fiction. Don't bother trying to get into it. Right, I'm not going to um, watch any more of this movie because when I talk about how American media is all based around grooming preteen white children, especially girls, I'm not joking. Now, this is, of course, I'm using a computer, not a telly. Seven minutes and three seconds into the movie, and you have. A brown-skinned person next to a picture. This is not edited. This is the actual movie of uh, what's her name, Ali Lynn Lind, whatever the fuck her name is, and the picture of her that is stuck on the wall is with her top pulled down, so you can see her in nipples. Yeah, this is what you call association. You see what you see on the screen. So people don't see it as a conscious thing. Oh, you're just a pervert if you notice. No, when all you see on the camera is somebody with dark skin against a skinny white blonde child whose nipples are very, very prominent. And there are other pictures on the wall as well, which I'm not going to show. That is basically paedophile TV. 
it was a shit movie to start with, but they've actually gone smack in your face with the pre-teen white girl grooming. They do this to encourage children to copy. It's the same on daytime TV. Um, there's a program in England called This Morning. I don't watch it anymore, but when I have watched in the past, and this is on at 9, 10 o'clock in the morning. Oh, look, children, a child sent me this picture. It looks just like her vagina. Maybe you should send a picture of your vagina to me as well. This is daytime TV. All American-known channels in England. So, uh, yeah, fuck this piece of shit. Pedo TV yet again.